Yeah. <laughs> I'm just looking at these uh, RCWs, initial and verified entrapment. <laughs> The criminal design originated in the mind of law enforcement officials or any person acting under their direction. <laughs> the actor was lured or induced to commit a crime which the actor had no otherwise intended to commit. <laughs> now, I know that when law enforcement decides to prosecute people for crimes they didn't commit because they don't want to admit the evidence, and <laughs> you're going to take my brains in a mental facility because you're problem is you're covering up some other crimes that you didn't want to talk about. <laughs> you know, I want to know how factual this is that I was watching on the Flatliners because I thought somebody made a dog of me that was going around acting like they were myself because I wasn't in Squim, Washington. Yes, <laughs> but you had to cover that up, didn't you? Pooch. And you served somebody other than myself as a respondent and you have all the liability for the enforcement of the laws. <laughs> Why don't we get my dog, okay, Mr. Hard Dick? Yes. <laughs> now, as I understand it, you are the brains that come into you. Ooh, <laughs> wouldn't it be nice if you fucked my dog? <laughs> and then experiment and see if that flatliners actually does work because <laughs> I'd like to kill every dog that thought that their hard dick was more important than the rights of uh, civil rights. <laughs> now, I know. You came your brain. Oops, you had to come to find out because of your top secret payroll. <laughs> what if the last individual that you actually had sex with, yes, for some reason, you're, you're cold, you're 83 degrees, and all those memories die with you. Now, for all of those that said, well, we just can't. We can't reveal that the actual judges are not. Well, why don't we do this? Why don't you come some money today, okay? Because I'm the one that's suffering. <laughs> and then try that defilibrator and see if it stops their heart. Pooch! Because I'd like all these memories to die with you, okay? Okay, okay. <laughs> now, my concern is that you're wanting me to go to a mental facility when I was at the fucking senior center. <laughs> now, get my dog. Yes and try that from the Flatliners movie to see if it works so that they stop coming the money. Pooch! Now, I know the military's been asking themselves, well, how do we get rid of this? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Maybe the Army, the Air Force, the Marines, the National Guard, pooch, any of those top secret individuals that said the family was in control. Pooch! Let's see if it actually works. Do you actually die if you just gave them a shot that knocked them out? <laughs> you defilibrated their heart so it stopped and they all of a sudden they're cold and every memory went with them. <laughs> now I was watching another movie last night because I had, well I got a boil on my ass and I had to, I, I got a heating pad. Yes you did. <laughs> And I tried to get the blood flow to the boil to get the poison out of it. Yes, I was, uh, well, I was sleeping on and off because I had the heating pad underneath my butt cheeks. Yes, kept them real toasty warm. It sure did. But there was another uh, another movie called Hotliners or Hardliners. They had, uh, what's his name? Uh, the guy that has the Parkinson's. Uh, I forget. He was on uh, The Facts of Life. Yes. <laughs> Well, what happened was they were in the ghetto. <laughs> Somebody stole his stuff and ransacked his house. Well, the detective that he was working with, yes, yes, yes. What happened, he got this really nice car where the spare tire's outside of it. And I was thinking about pimping today. Yes, he was. Now, I told you about the velour where I needed like five or six very large-breasted women that wanted to go out with me on Friday and Saturday nights. Yes! Could you get the make and model of the vehicle in that in that movie? Because I was thinking about pimping this whole fucking nation. Let's see if it works. I'm needing a new vehicle today, Sarge. Do you understand?